please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help support this channel, it won't cost you a thing by using the links in the description down below in case you need to pick up any of these products. What's going on, Rich? Back with another awesome video for you. Today, I am showing you how to fix a toilet. As long as you do it the correct way, you're not going to have a problem. So there's three things you really have to worry about with a toilet. You have your supply line, which is the line coming out of the wall, which has the shutoff valve that you turn, and it turns the water on and off. Uh, when you put that on, you want to put some Teflon tape around it and screw it down. And then the supply line coming up to the toilet out of the wall is going to have uh, a plastic connector, which is this right here. And you do not want to put Teflon tape on this. You just want to, to screw the connector onto this hand tight, as tight as you can get it. Don't really, really torque it down too tight. So again, hand tight. You don't want to use any kind of wrenches on this. This is your fill valve. That is this guy right here. So basically what happens when you flush the toilet is this pops up and it lets all the water drain into the toilet and it goes into the bowl. And then as the water drains, this is your float right here. As you flush the toilet and all the water goes down to the bottom of the tank, this drops, which is your float. And once it drops, it tells this guy right here, hey, start filling the tank up, which comes through this line right here and it fills inside here. The tank is gonna fill up. And as your tank fills up, the water level brings the float up and then it shuts this valve off, as you can see. This is your fill valve right here, and this is your flush valve. Both of these are bad, we're gonna fix both of them because we don't have good water here in this area. First thing you really wanna do is, you wanna get in touch with the manufacturer and find exactly what parts you need. I ended up getting a Kohler fill valve, which is right here. Sometimes there's two or three different parts that will actually work in each toilet. And as you can see, this one right here, if you look on the bottom, you can't really see it, but you can see that little red right there where I'm pointing to where my finger is right there. There are a lot of people online that are saying that they bought this one, which is the yellow one. And they're saying that this flush valve is much, much better than the red one. And they fit the same, they both go in the same way. They're both gonna work. Most people are having better luck with this one. So basically this right here is what you need. You wanna get yourself a fill valve, a flush valve. While you're at it, if you wanna do it, just get some new bolts and they come with the washers and the nuts anyway. So this way you're not gonna have to fight this when you go to put this back on. Optionally, I ended up picking up a Kohler trip lever, which is the handle that you use to flush the toilet. That's the trip lever. So I picked up one in oil rub bronze just to match everything we have in the bathroom, all the hardware. You don't have to get this. And if you're not having a problem with your handle, don't worry about it. You don't have to replace it. I'll leave all the links in the description for all the parts that I'm using. Let's get started. So I'm just gonna take this off. You're gonna wanna remove this to be able to do everything. Uh, you're gonna have to take this off. So basically in order to take this off, you saw the two bolts that are on the bottom. You're just gonna have to take the two nuts off of these and it'll come right off. So just make sure you put something down underneath like a soft towel or something so you don't scratch the, uh, the porcelain finish on it and turn it on its side. We're gonna need an adjustable wrench to do this counterclockwise to loosen it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. There we go. And once you do that, it's gonna come right off. This should come right out. There we go, very simple. We just have some water stains over the years because the water we have here is pretty bad. So you just wanna get like a soft cloth, just make sure that's clean down there before you install the new one. Put a 99% rubbing alcohol. As you can see, that cleaned up nicely. This is just the seal that goes between the bowl and the tank. Just take this off. Have our plastic nut here which is kind of like the other one that we had before, but it's just a lot bigger. So here is a oil filter wrench. So that's another thing we could use if you don't have anything. There we go. Again, pay attention to how much force I'm using to try to get this off. Not a lot. You want to tighten it past hand tight, but not too much. Because again, this is a porcelain tank and you don't want to crack this. So when you put the new one back on, you're only going to use a little bit of force. This just comes off pretty simply like the other one. Gonna take our bolts out. This is our metal plate. Put this to the side. This should come right out. Basically these seals go bad and uh, they just don't hold the water anymore. And what happens is there's just a little bit of leak in here and the water just keeps running through and you'll, your toilet is just gonna keep running all night and it's just not gonna stop. If you're gonna do it, you might as well clean it out now before you put everything back in. Okay, so as you can see, you got this cleaned out very nicely. What you're gonna get when you buy a flush valve is the flush valve itself. You're gonna get the nut that holds it down, and you're also gonna get the gasket that goes between the tank and the bowl. Position it like the old one was. So you don't have to worry too much about which way you put it in. That turns, and once it's bolted down, so you can put the chain wherever you want it, hold it, flip the tank over. Try to hold this like this, just pinch it, and slide the plate over, and Make sure that we can put the nut. 
try to screw it down a little bit. Or what you could do is you could try to hold it sideways like this. Just wrench down from the bottom and tighten it like this with the oil filter wrench and just gently, gently, gently tighten it down. That's it. Now we are ready to put the fill valve. Luckily, we got a new hose. We have a few extra inserts which are gonna regulate the flow of water, an extra seal, that little copper piece right there. The only thing we really need right now is our fill valve and our and have it so that this supply line is pointing straight to the right. Make sure you put the flange right here going towards the, the tank itself. Just put it on, give it a quick spin, should go on very easily. And then again, take our open end wrench. Really don't wanna go too much, we'll just go a little bit more there you go, that's it. A flow restrictor valve, which is right here. This little green piece, the new one came with a blue one installed. We're just gonna pop this out. We're just gonna take one of the, the new ones that came with it. We're gonna use the green one because that was the one that came in the We're just gonna take this green. So we're gonna take the new hose that we got. We're just gonna fit that over here like so. Push it down as far as you can get it. We could just put it over here on top of this like so and just push it down. If you do not have one of these to put on, you could take the, the copper clip that came with it and what you're supposed to do is you put it in like this, get like this and put it on the left. What it does is it just sits on the, the side of the flush valve. Got that from Polar, just picked this up from Amazon. Here is the trip lever, which looks beautiful by the way. The only thing you're gonna be getting from Polar is trip lever, the nut that holds it to the tank. So what you wanna do is put it to the right and then kinda go up and bend it, angle it down, then turn it to the left. And that's how you do it. Then we want to take the nut. The one thing you're going to notice is it goes on backwards. You're turning it to the left, which is counterclockwise, and that's how you tighten it. A lot of people get that backwards. When they go to loosen it to take it off, they actually tighten it, they over tighten it, and snap it and break it. Tighten it down as much as you can. Reach down and get the chain like this. Get it clipped on this little ring right here. And it might be too high if it is. I took the clip off. I'm gonna have to put the clip further down on the chain. Basically just make the chain a little bit longer. You gotta make sure that this flush valve right here goes all the way down to the bottom like that. That means it's sealed and you can't push down it any further. I showed you the uh, the bolts that we have here. We got to go in here to replace that, to put that back on top of the toilet bowl. This comes with a fill valve. So when you put the supply line from the wall to feed the water into the toilet, you're definitely gonna need to put this uh, washer right here. So your supply line might have a washer that comes with it. If not, just use the one that comes from Kohler. So when you buy the replacement flush valve from Kohler, they do include a brand new gasket. You just push down on it a little bit. And this basically seals the tank to the bowl. And that's it, you're ready to go. All you gotta do is just take this tank and gently put it down on top of the toilet bowl, make sure the bolts go through the holes. And then once the bolts go through the holes, put one washer on each one of the bolts, and then you put one nut on each of the bolts and just tighten it down by hand. You could use something like this, which is an adjustable wrench, and just tighten it down. Uh, this is porcelain and you can crack it. Put the nuts on and once they're on, just gently tighten it down with the wrench. And that's it, you're done, you're good to go. I'm gonna leave links in the description down below to all the products I use to rebuild this toilet and all the tools. And you could definitely help support this channel by using those links if you need to purchase those for yourself. Well, thanks again for watching this video. I hope it really did help you out. And if you can, make sure to click that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and let me know if you got any questions or comments in the section down below. Good luck with your install. Take care.